as the foul was by Edlin. And again, anybody he's guarding is going to go to the basket. They got, Callum Bay's got two. Fa has two, so they're big guys both with a couple. Yeah, you know, does Marshall even average 10 points? Uh, Marshall on the season averages eight and a half. That's what I thought. He's got 10 already, and he's hit all three of his shots, all threes. Well, yeah, again, he's feeling, he's feeling himself. You really got to get a control of him. Oso gives to Kolick in the corner. Wide open three. Joplin missed it. Rebound comes to West Kentucky and Howard. Edlin has it in the front court. Edlin on a drive. Edlin to the basket. He won't shoot. Back outside to Marshall. Marshall back to Edlin. He's 40 feet away. Back to Marshall on the wing. Howard has it. Baseline 12 feet away. Double team. Pass deflected. Marshall has it now outside the arc. He checked three. Missed the long rebound. Ben Gold nicely down on the board. Marquette's well, like lead. He averages eight. He's, he's, he's way above that now. So he's going to cool off eventually. He's playing out of his mind right now. You got it. Kolek double teamed into Oso. He's open. He missed the dunk. It was blocked from yeah, behind blocked. by Marshall. Yep. Here comes the other way, McHenry. He has it knocked away as we have Chase Ross jump right over Tony Smith. Were you ready? He's, he's got, were you I ready? Gonna, I was going to grab him if he was going to fall, but he just went over. He didn't, you, need, he didn't need me. You were glad he went 12th floor. <laughs> I was glad he went up. That's right. Yeah. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Western Kentucky basketball. They're making threes. Marquette's lead was as big as nine. It's now cut to three, 31-28, 5-13 left first half. Yeah, this is a big big stop they need here. they, they got to dominate this last five minutes here, this half. Yep. Edlin holding 45 feet away. Edlin uses the screen and gets the ball quickly to Allen. Now in the corner, Marshall. He'll drive on Chase Ross. Floater in the lane, no good. Tap is good. Marshall got it on the tap. He's up to 12. Well, and Marquette's lead is a point. He's got a ton of energy. Cam Jones wide left. Now well, he's energized the crowd. Into the corner to Gold. Gold driving, then kicks across to Kolick outside the arc. Kolick double team to Gold. Three in the corner. He missed it. Rebound pulled down by Western Kentucky. Marquette's lead is cut to one. McHenry, the trailer, brings it up. McHenry still with it outside the arc against Stevie Mitchell. McHenry continues to dribble, and he continues to dribble. Pull up 15-footer. Good. Marquette's behind. And we've got a timeout. Marquette led by nine. Not anymore. Check to see if it's a 30 or a full. 30-second timeout, Marquette. Now we will extend to a full. Marquette down 32-31, 4.27 left first half to Western Kentucky. We'll take a timeout. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Make it a real mad march with a playoff payout at Pottawatomie. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Pottawatomie, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's bank, proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to host member FDIC. In sports, you're always thinking of that next play. It's the same with business. Cintas has the products, people, and solutions that help keep you a step ahead. They'll make sure you have the right work apparel for almost any job imaginable. Provide first aid and safety supplies. Install and service your AEDs. Test and inspect your fire protection systems and regularly stock your cleaning products. So visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. Favorite Tony Smith, Marquette trailing Western Kentucky 32 31, 427 left first half, 7 0 run by Western Kentucky, a 13 3 run after Marquette led by 9, the last at 28 to 19. They're just making shots. They're now up to 46% shooting, 56% three point shooting. Uh, Marquette 
41% shooting, 33. But uh, the stretch for Marquette creating turnovers and scoring. Mark, uh, West Kentucky making shots. And you mentioned early on, take care of Tyrone Marshall. He's only their fifth leading scorer, but he's got 12. And yeah, and, make, and, 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 ma and making shots, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No, go ahead. But, but making shots is not the problem. The Western Kentucky making shots is not the problem. McHenry is the problem. He's, I mean, Marshall's a problem. Marshall is hurting you right now, but what that's doing is he's a guy who only averages eight points on the game. He's got 12 already in the first half. He's energizing your team. That's where the problem starts. you got to get a hold of him, take his confidence away, make him a little less bouncy. He's got way too much energy right now. You have to handle him first and foremost. Then you have to get your offense going. Your offense is, is up and down right now, and it's too up and down. you got to be a little bit more consistent offensively. Uh, you're getting some good looks, getting some inside looks. you got to be more consistent. And from the time West Kentucky brought in the little guy, Edelin, right. they haven't and, turned the ball over. And he's, a, and he's another guy who's going to energize him by playing well. Yep. He doesn't normally play. He doesn't normally do much. Listed 5'10". I'd say he's 5'8". Marquette working the handoff. Weave outside the arc. Oso helps on top of the circle against Fa. Now beyond the three-point line right side. They clear out for him. He'll go in the lane. Can't finish. Back out Chase Ross. Nine to shoot. Kolick 30 feet away. Kolick double team. Gives to Oso. Now Chase Ross. Wide open three. Missed it. Rebound knocked around. And we're going to get a foul on Marquette as Stevie Mitchell trying to get it. That's only team foul number four, and it'll be Western Kentucky to bring it up. Marquette down a point, four have, minutes left first half. And I have Sorry. no problem with that possession. It's a great possession. They have yep. a great look by a good three-point shooter, Chase Ross. So nothing wrong with that possession there. But but Ethan, that's what he's in for. He can stay. They believe that he can stay in front of Kolick and the guards, and they won't get any penetration. Five, 30 feet away, won't shoot. Marshall outside the yard against Chase Ross. Likes the matchup, goes to the basket, lays it up easily. Tyrone Marshall and Marquette is down three. He has 14, averaging eight. Kolick, wing left to the basket, double team, back out to Mitchell. Mitchell, free throw line, back to Kolick, easy layup. Nice pass, Marquette down a point. Yeah, we'll see if Marquette can uh, muster up some urgency here. Last three and a half minutes. McHenry, free throw line. McHenry drives, then throws back outside to Allen. Marshall holding 40 feet away. Marquette down a point, 34-33. West Kentucky, McHenry to the basket. Scoop shot around and out. Got his own rebound and then followed it up and in. Yeah, Marquette, Great defense. Marquette standing Still around. McHenry is being active. Yep. Marquette down three, 36-33. Kolick outside the arc, left side. Kolick stop and go dribble, spinning in the lane. Double team bump. Back outside in the corner, Chase Ross. He'll drive his pass deflected, stolen away. Five tapped it, and now Western Kentucky has it. Marquette down three. McHenry driving. McHenry to the basket, banked it around in. No good, long rebound. Chase Ross knocked down. They give it to Fa. Fa in the corner. Now Marshall faked the three, penetrates, ball knocked away. Stolen by Marquette. Marquette just threw it away again. And now Marshall has an open three. Good. Marquette is now down six. Marquette thought they had the ball in transition in numbers. Instead, down six. Yeah, sloppy play. Yep. Marquette not a high tone over team, so. Kolick, wide left. Bad pass to Oso, but fortunately kicked out of bounds. Western Kentucky. Marquette led by nine and now trails by six. 14 to two run by Western Kentucky over the last four minutes and 20 seconds. They're making everything. And you predicted a concern. Tyrone Marshall up to 17. He averages eight. Colum Bay is going to come in for Western Kentucky. And coming out, the little guy. It all happened when Jack he gave, he gave him great minutes. Yes, he did. Didn't turn the ball over. That was a problem before he came in. We have not seen Lander. He's the guy who's rested. They start a Kolek inbounds for Marquette. Marquette down six. 2-12 left first half. The give to Oso, stolen away. Coming the other way, McHenry. McHenry in from the right to the basket. Blocked by Gold, and they call a foul on Gold. And two free throws up coming. I think actually, um, the kind of call was it get? Colum Bay? Got the momentum. Was it Colum Bay? No, I think it was uh, McHenry. Or Colum Bay. I'm not, I think it's Colum Bay who's actually going to the basket. They both, long, they both have sweet long hair. Marquette down six, 2.08 left first half. And the country's going to notice this. Marquette, the number two seed. 
Colin Bay, a lefty. Two free throws. The first one is good. It's a 66% free thrower. Marquette from up nine is now down seven. Yeah, if you're Marquette, you expect everything to go their way right now, which is what's going to happen. They're going to get the foul call. If you've been in the bonus forever, you haven't taken advantage of it. Uh, they're making shots. If you're not. Yep. Colin Bay hits them both. Marquette trails by eight after leading by nine. They were up 28-19, so it's been 22-5 uh, to five run by Western Kentucky. Marquette yeah. brings it up. Kolick outside the arc. Kolick on a drive, then gives back to Gold. Open three, missed it. Rebound all Western Kentucky. Yeah, and as a player, you know what I mean? You can't be worried about it. You know you got plenty of time on the clock, but yep. you got to have some, some urgency. You got to do things a little bit better. Outside the arc, Marshall left of the circle, further out McHenry. They got 16 to shoot. Marquette down eight. Inside, Howard, hook shot good. Marquette now down 10 with 138 left first half. Kolick wide left all the way to the basket, then throws it out to Cam Jones, shaky, but they maintain it. Mitchell open three, no good. Rebound, uh, knocked around. Kolick has it. He's fouled as he gets the layup under the basket. Unbelievable. And Oso talking to everybody at the foul line. That was huge. Marquette down 10. All of a sudden, Kolick just standing around. The ball came to him. He will shoot two free throws. Yeah, they got it. They got to get it figured out. I mean, like I said, we, we at the table over here could sit here and say, oh, yeah, two versus 15. We should be able to handle this game. But you know, no. the players got to get out there and handle it. Kolick, free throw is good. 24 to 5 run by Western Kentucky. Yeah, again, that, that offensive drought that kills you. And then if the other team starts to score yep. while you're in that drought, uh, it's big trouble. They're now 6 of 10, three point shooting. Kolick, the deficit at nine. Second free throw around and out. Marquette is five throw. of 12 three point shooting. And McHenry will walk it up. Marquette down nine, West Kentucky with the ball. 114 left first half. McHenry gives to Howard outside the arc, the big guy, looking to pass, needs help. Further out he gives to Colin Bay, now outside to Marshall. Marshall 20 feet away. McHenry, they got five to shoot. They're beyond the three-point line. McHenry stop and go dribble, lost the ball out of bounds. Turnover. They didn't have any when Eden was in there, but... McHenry just turned it over. Marquette down nine. I'm begging for a three. Under a minute left, first half. Kolick will walk it up. Yeah, Kolick across. see some good offense and a, and a bucket. Two or three. Kolick on a drive to the basket, then kicks in the corner. Gold. Open three. Missed it. Rebound pulled down by Western Kentucky and Marshall. Marquette down nine. Game and shot clock differ by 11. McHenry standing dribble 40 feet away. Outside left to Colum Bay. Holding. Howard still beyond the three-point line. Further out to Marshall. Let him go right. He's got seven to shoot. Marshall inside to Howard. Lost it. Got it back. Has it 12 feet away. Back outside to McHenry. Get up. He'll have to take a tough shot. Missed everything. Rebound Cam Jones. Marquette's got 10 seconds really left. Use the bucket here. They got eight seconds left. Into the corner. Gold with six seconds left. Gold to the basket. Floats and scores with three seconds left. 75 footer is no good and the basket <laughs> what it was close though <laughs> the basket by ben gold and at half it'll be the talk of the country number two seed marquette trailing number 15 seed western kentucky by seven it's 43 36 marquette down seven to western kentucky gabe knights will take over its halftime marquette basketball from learfield you know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey, CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. 
We are Marquette Sports Properties at the game. Tries a three, it's good, he hit it. Oh, baby, what a wow. shot. On your TV. Welcome to Inside Marquette Basketball. I'm Sophia Minert, joined by Marquette head coach Shaka Smart. And in your community. There is a lot of excitement nationwide about what this squad is doing and what they can do. Get your brand in on the action. Visit Learfield.com slash partners and click Marquette. Marquette Sports Properties, powered by Learfield. Hey Marquette fans, we know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it too here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Marquette fans, set your DVRs for new episodes of the MarquetteHoops.com Basketball Show, 9 a.m. Saturdays on Channel 24. Join me, Tom Pippins, and historian John Dodds as we follow Shaka Smart's top-ranked team and his recruiting. We will relive great seasons and games with former players, coaches, and media. All shows are archived at our MarquetteHoops.com site. That's Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Channel 24. Marquette University Golden Eagles Sports Network. From Learfield, this is Wintrust coverage of Marquette basketball. Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette. Welcome to the Marquette Halftime Show, brought to you by Software One, official digital cloud and software partner of Marquette Athletics. CentOS, ready for the workday. Buffalo Wild Wings, let's go sports bar. Right height, where we're always looking ahead. Sitgo, with Sitgo, you're good to go. Qdoba, making the world a more flavorful place. Hush Blackwell, a different kind of law firm built on the culture of selfless service. Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative, putting members first, pursuing better healthcare. And by Potawatomi Casino Hotel, all in to win. Now, the Marquette Halftime Show. Marquette down at the half, 43-36, but we are hanging out live at Buffalo Wild Wings in West Allis. It's the home of the watch party. Marquette uh, had a, his, uh, led by as many as nine in that first half. Then the shooting went cold, including uh, downtown shooting. Marquette's just five of 19 from distance in that first half. They were 13 of 33 overall in half number one. So they were 8 of 14 on shots inside the arc, just the outside of the arc, shooting a really struggle, and at the free throw line. Marquette just 5 of 12 from the, from the charity stripe in that first half. I mean, the defense has been able to get there, but also eight offensive rebounds, allowing uh, Western Kentucky to get some additional looks in there. Um, Marquette, again, doing a good job forcing the turnovers, 11 total turnovers in that first half, able to, to translate that into 13 points in the uh, in the first half. But again, the uh, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, hot from the outside. They were at 1.6 of 10, now 6 of 12 from the field from distance and at 47.2% in that first half for Western Kentucky. Meet the all-new Potawatomi Casino Hotel, Milwaukee. 12 bars and restaurants, 3,000 slot machines, table games, and more. Light up your senses at Potawatomi. Explore more at PaysBig.com. Shock is smart. Probably going to be trying to figure out how to get some of those more inside looks, but Western Kentucky on any sort of drive from Kolick, any drive from Cam Jones, really just packing up the paints, leaving shooters open. The, the looks Marquette has gotten from distance, they've been good. They just have not been able to find the bottom of the net through the, uh, through the first 20 minutes. And the assist numbers down for Marquette as well, just eight assists to 12 assists to Western Kentucky in that first half. Western Kentucky led by as many as 10 after trailing by as many is nine in the first half. No one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Tune in for news, talk, and analysis from the offseason through the regular season and into the postseason. We've got your team covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial, sxm.us backslash college sports radio 2023. Marquette trailing at the half to Western Kentucky 43-36. We'll go over some individual statistics coming up next. This is Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. 
Every Qdoba catering order is a fresh-made Mexican feast of hand-smashed, flame-grilled, sliced, diced, and sautéed flavors perfect for any occasion. Whether you're planning your office's Tortilla Tuesday, hosting a post-game party for your intramural dodgeball team, or trying to bring in a dinner for your PTA meeting that's so good, it'll bump your kid up to an A- in Spanish class. Qdoba Catering. Fresh, hot, easy, delicious. Order today. Every time you swipe your Golden Eagles debit card with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, order online, pay at the register, or at self-checkout, pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Bank. Member FDIC. March Madness at Buffalo Wild Wings. Beer, wings, basketball everywhere. This really is my happy place. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, you just feel the good vibes. That's it. I'm done. I will never watch another game. I'm just going to find a patch of grass and lay there forever. Oh, it went in. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, happy place. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness. Let's go, sports bar. Drink responsibly. NCAA March Madness are trademarks of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Make it a real mad march with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this march for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Marquette University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Marquette fans, Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness and the official viewing party location for Marquette tournament games this postseason. Check out the Golden Eagles watch party schedule. Go Marquette.com slash BWW. Next watch party schedule for Sunday at the Oak Creek Buffalo Wild Wings for the second round of the NCAA tournament, depending upon the outcome of this game. Let's go sports bar. Marquette trailing at the half to Western Kentucky, 43-36. First half got good offensive outputs from Tyler Kolick and Cam Jones. Tyler, five of six from the floor, two of three from downtown, but just one of three from the free throw line. 13 points, four rebounds, and an assist for Tyler Kolick. Cam Jones, three of six from the field, one of three from distance, three of five from the line. He has 10 points after that. Uh, Marquette uh, struggling offensively. David Joplin just one of six in the first half. Oso Iguodaro just one of three. Stevie Mitchell one of four. Ben Gold two of five. Did hit the runner right before the buzzer sounded to get Marquette to within seven here at the break. Chase Ross 0 for two off the bench. Trey Norman 0 for one and then 0 for two from the free throw line and that's really the concerning thing. Marquette uh, is getting open looks from distance just haven't been able to knock them down. I'm sure they're going to hit a few more three pointers in that second half but have to clean up that uh, free throw shooting just 5 of 12 from the line because Western Kentucky committed 10 fouls in that first half. Three different players in foul trouble with two fouls in the first half. Marquette just had five and all five coming from uh, just individual personal fouls up and down the lineup. So uh, three of four for Western Kentucky from the free throw line. Marquette has to be able to get to the, uh, make those free throws. Western Kentucky, a physical team, and Marquette is going to have to absorb those fouls, get to the free throw line, and just knock down those shots. Over on the Western Kentucky side, Tyrone Marshall only averages 8.4 points per game. Had a heck of a first half. 17 points on 6 of 9 shooting, including 4 of 6 from downtown. He had 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 5 of his team's 12 assists in that first half. He is the only Hilltopper in double figures in that first half as they jump out to that 43-36 halftime lead. Listen to coverage of the NCAA Championships on the Varsity Network app. Powered by Learfield, fans can hear Westwood One's exclusive national coverage along with most school broadcasts through a multicast option. That's only on the Varsity Network app, available for free in your app store. 
We'll see what else is happening in the NCAA tournament. That's coming up next. This is Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey, Marquette fans. We know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it, too, here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with tech spend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. When your people are ready, your business is ready. Cintas makes sure they have what they need to perform their best. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, fire protection systems that are tested and inspected, first aid and safety supplies, floor mats, or cleaning tools and restroom products, stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together, so visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. I'm Sawyer, and I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We are born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, we would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive drunk. Drive sober or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Whether it's live or in podcast form, you've heard us on air with all of our shenanigans. Gabe, I'm throwing some. <laughs> Why are you throwing? I, I, I don't want. Now see your favorite 94.5 ESPN show streaming on video. Gabe, by me, by the way, I hit that microphone like four out of six times. On that. Subscribe to ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube and get notified when we hit the air live. Plus, you can watch back any second that you miss and see original digital content too. Watch, listen, interact. ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube. Marquette trailing at the half, opening round of the NCAA tournament. They trail 43-36 to Western Kentucky this year. Marquette 5 and 8 when trailing at the break. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what else is happening around the NCAA tournament. Northwestern needed overtime, the first overtime of this year's tournament. They defeat Florida Atlantic in Brooklyn, 77-65. Northwestern's offense exploding in the overtime session. They scored 19 points in the first 20 minutes. 19 points in the first half. Well, in overtime, the additional five, they scored 19 more. That's what helped them pull away from Florida Atlantic, 77-65. Baylor takes it to Colgate in a 3-14 matchup out in the West region. 92-67 the final in that game. Only two final scores so far from the tournament today. One game is going on right now. San Diego State's early second half. They lead UAB 42-32 to in a game that's going to be tipping. And a few games are going to be tipping in the matter of moments. Number six, Clemson in the West region taking on the 11th ranked New Mexico squad. UConn going to be tipping off at 2.22 central time, taking on the 16 seed Stetson in the East region. Also in the East region today, Auburn is taking on Yale. In the South region, Florida against Colorado, winner of the Marquette Western Kentucky game, gets the winner of that game on Sunday in an 8-9 matchup later tonight. Nebraska versus Texas A&M. Duke takes on the Catamounts of Vermont at 6-10 tonight. Purdue versus Grambling comes your way tonight at 625. Bama versus Charleston tonight as well along with Houston, Longwood, TCU, Utah State. And the final game to tip off in the opening round of the NCAA tournament features the fifth seeded St. Mary's squad taking on the 12th seed in, the Grand, in Grand Canyon in the West region. As for this game, Marquette, a couple of things that they need to clean up at the half. First and foremost, the turnovers. It was certainly mentioned quite a bit on the uh, televised broadcast as Marquette, not a team that turns the ball over a ton. They average less than 10 turnovers per game as a team. They had eight in that first half, including two from Oso, two from Cam Jones, and two from Tyler Kolick. Not very often in his Marquette career where you get to the break and Tyler Kolick has more turnovers than assists. Just two turnovers to one assist in Kolick's first game back, although he does lead the team in scoring at 13 points um, in, in the first half. The, the three-pointers, I'm, I'm sure they don't want to take as many as they did. Marquette averages around 25 threes a game. And they took 19 in that first half, just not falling. But 
hard to fault them at times because those were the open looks. Western Kentucky just collapsing on everything in the paint, making sure that Tyler Kolek doesn't have an easy lane to find an Oso Iguodaro who did have one of his shots blocked or find something easy for Cam Jones. The points in the paint have been hard to come by for Marquette, so they've had to take some of those shots from the outside. Speaking to that, Marquette just 14 points in the paint in the first half to the 18 of Western Kentucky. So Marquette's uh, sitting here down seven points, 43-36. And the other thing I think they need to clean up, and I'm sure that Shaka Smart going to devise up some way for Marquette to get some more of those points in the paint. Uh, the free throw shooting, talked about it a little bit, but able to get to the line, have to knock down those freebies in order to come back in the second half. Give yourself an opportunity to play for the second weekend on Sunday against the winner of the uh, Florida and Colorado game. So 43-36, Marquette trails at the break in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Make sure to download the Marquette Game Day app where special offers are available to Marquette season ticket holders all season long. Today's highlighted offer is from Colders where Marquette season ticket holders receive 80% off one furniture or mattress item this season. Colders, we are Marquette. Golden Eagles trailing 43-36 at the half. We'll get you back out to Indianapolis for the start of half number two with Homer and the Hall of Famer Tony Smith. That's coming your way next. This is Wintrust, Wisconsin's main coverage. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Forbex. Member FDIC. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Pottawatomie. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Pottawatomie, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, ow, ah, I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. Experience stands out at Color Inc. That's true for the experiences we create for your customers and the ones we create for you. Our entire crew is unlocking creativity to help you accomplish your goals. Color Inc. is an experiential communications company. We help you capture attention and inspire action with packaging, visual displays, retail signage, influencer kits, and pretty much anything else you can dream up. Visit www.colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Only two other games yesterday were played in the South Region where Marquette is, and it was the lower seeds winning both games. The 11th seed at NC State, uh, Wolfpack defeating 6th seed at Texas Tech, 80-67, to and then Oakland pulling off the upset of the tournament, 14th, ranked, uh, 14th seed at Oakland defeating Kentucky, 80-76. So those teams going to be playing tomorrow. Uh, again, both those teams getting to 80 points. Who is going to get to 80 points in our game first as Marquette is trailing 43-36 at the half of the second half, just about ready to start from Indianapolis. As let's send you back out for the start of half number two alongside the Hall of Famer, Tony Smith. Here's Homer. Thanks, Gabe. Yep, Marquette's going to have to come from behind, and actually they're down 43-36, and the deficit was as much as 10 at 43-33 uh, in a six-minute stretch. From 7.52 left to 1.40 left, Marquette was outscored 24-5. to five. Yeah, and, and as I said at the beginning of the game, this game is really, uh, it's really, it's really about Marquette. We, we see what West Kentucky was able to do in the first half, but listen, Marquette uh, not looking good offensively, not very efficient at shooting 39%. 
Uh, we know what they're doing. They're, they're, they're 5 of 12, 41% from the free throw line, 26% from, from three-point three point line. So offensively, they're not giving themselves uh, any kind of chance, right? So that that's the first problem. And then you turn around and say, well, Western Kentucky's making shots. Yes, they are making shots, but that that's because you're not defending properly. You have to defend much better than what you are. Uh, they're shooting 47%, 54%. And 75% from the free throw line. They're only taking four free throws, but their percentages are too high uh, on, on two point field goal percentage and, I mean, overall field goal, goal percentage and three point field goal percentage. So that's that's where the game lies. It lies on you, as in Marquette. Get your offense together, yep. uh, get better shots, make shots, and well, then here's defend a little bit better. You. And hold on, last thing is what Gabe hit on. Like you talk about the first 80 points, right? They only need 37 points to hit 80. So they could have a bad offensive half like Marquette did and still get to 80 points. Now, the pressure's on Marquette to have a good offensive half so they can reach uh, 80 points. So they got a, a tougher task. They need 44-point half to, to reach 80 points. So uh, the pressure is squarely on Marquette's shoulders right now. We'll my, see how they come my out. My question was, what do you think this has happened before about shooting fewer threes? 19 of their 33 shots. For uh, three. Yeah, a lot, a lot of time that's just settling, right? You're, you're settling for a shot, um, and who knows why. But, again, the other bad news from our kid is McHenry hasn't even really done much. Yep. He's their leading scorer. West Kentucky starts with the basketball. Marshall goes inside to Fa. Baseline six feet away. Two, three dribbles. Now back outside. Lander has it. He didn't play much at all. Drives baseline. He's under the basket. Then gives into the corner to McHenry. Now back up top to Marshall. He'll penetrate. He'll try a baseline shot around and out. All oh, Marquette on the rebound. Yeah, he's the guy that was making all plays. I mean, yeah, he's already got 17, right? How much more can he get? He only averages eight. Marquette down seven. Stevie Mitchell, 30 feet away right side. Back to Kolick. He'll drive. He'll go to the basket. He'll hang. He'll shoot. He'll miss the layup. The rebound's knocked around, and Marquette has it in Joplin. Joplin's in the lane. Gives inside. Stevie Mitchell lays it up and in. From nowhere. Stevie Mitchell showing some energy, and yeah, but that, that 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 end is one thing, but this is the end that they really got to clamp down on. All right, driving now inside Lander, open three in the corner, good. Created by the penetration of Newman, yeah. Marquette's down eight. Penetration's gonna gonna kill you all the time. Every time it's gonna kill you. Kolich spins, then gives to Osu at the foul line, throws in the corner. Cam Jones, open three, good. Yeah, Cam, good. Cam Jones wanted that first pass, and he was mad he didn't get it. And then all of a sudden he got it, cashed it in. Marquette down five, 46-41, 18-35 for the game. McHenry outside the arc, still on the perimeter. Now Marshall wide right against Joplin, goes baseline, and they had it deflected away. I think doesn't matter, maybe Joplin Cam Jones, it. Joplin. Yeah. Western Kentucky will inbound. We are a minute and a half into the second half. Marquette is down five. They trailed by ten, Marquette did late in the first half, with about a minute to go. Already down to five. McHenry to Newman. Baseline jumper. Missed from ten. All Marquette the rebound. Quick outlet to Kolick. He's already in the front court. Top of the circle. Gives further out to Mitchell. And then Oso. Everybody thought maybe a travel. Not everybody. The well, West Kentucky fans. I didn't. You didn't. Into Oso. Spins on Lander. Goes by him and stuffs it. Love the Mitch mass. Lander no chance in Marquette from down 10, now down three. Yeah, beautiful spin there. Saw the little guy on him. You don't want to try to bully the little guy because he can try to flop and get that charge. McHenry on a drive, double teamed. We're going to have a jump ball. Yep, jump ball. Possession arrow to Marquette. Stevie Mitchell always a part of it from down 10 to now down three. And we still got 17.53 for the game. They still have a lot of work to do, but a lot of work to do. It seems right. like they have the right attitude right now. Cam Jones and Tyler Kolick both lead with 13. Cam Jones brings it up left side. Cam Jones. Well, Cam Jones wants a three here. Yes, he does. He has it in the corner. Open three is around and out. Heartbreak. Rebound fought for. It's on the floor and pulled up by Western Kentucky. Joplin fought for it. Marshall brings it up. Marquette down three. West Kentucky across the lander. Now in the corner. Newman open three. Around and out. Oh, that's huge. They get the follow and lay it up and in. It was three on one Marquette. But Fa got the layup. Marquette down five. That hurts. Kolick on a drive. Double team. Needs help. Back to Oso. Oso penetrates in the lane. Ten feet away. Back out to Cam Jones in the corner. Marquette's got 14 to shoot. 
Cam Jones circles now to the basket against Fob. Back outside, Kolick, nine to shoot. Kolick spinning on Lander to the basket. Shoots, missed it short. Rebound pulled down by Western Kentucky. McHenry already re running, and it's stolen away by Stevie Mitchell. He stole it and then got it himself. He'll bring it to the front court. He'll go to the basket. Yeah, He'll lay it up and in. Counted it a foul. Stevie Mitchell right in front of the Marquette bench. How big is that? Marquette within three, and Mitchell will try the three-point play. He deflected the ball at the other end, then ran down the deflection, now scores, counted in a foul, and Kolick talking to the official going, how was that not a foul? What would the official say, Tony? Did say anything. All right. That's a good answer. Marquette down three. <laughs> we still got 16-53 for the game. Stevie Mitchell doing everything, up to seven points. The free throw is perfect. Marquette within two. From down 10 with a minute left in the first half, the Marquette fans are standing. McHenry, 40 feet away, gives to Marshall. They work the handoff. Weave Lander against Cam Jones. Further out to Moore, who just checked in. Moore to the basket. Not stolen away. Who stole it away? Stevie Mitchell. Marquette at the other end. Joplin to the basket. Oh, he lays it up and in. And we've got a timeout. Western Kentucky. Stevie Mitchell. There's not just one. You'd swear there are three out there. We have a timeout, Western Kentucky, because from 10 down, Marquette is now even. 16-33 for the game. Marquette 48, Western Kentucky 48. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Learfield. Mountain On Demand is the home for all things Marquette hoops. Stay up to date on the latest Golden Eagles conversations, interviews. Believe that we can play with anyone, but it's one thing to believe you can play with anyone. It's another thing to, to go out and do it. And game highlights. Flashing into oh, he sucks wow. it, 30 footer. Good! That's his range. Oh, Colic. He's got an open three. It's perfect. Love Find Championship Blue on Apple, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts. From the home of Marquette Basketball, 94.5 ESPN. Marquette fans, set your DVRs for new episodes of the MarquetteHoops.com Basketball Show, 9 a.m. Saturdays on Channel 24. Join me, Tom Pippins, and historian John Dodds as we follow Shaka Smart's top-ranked team and his recruiting. We will relive great seasons and games with former players, coaches, and media. All shows are archived at our MarquetteHoops.com site. That's Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Channel 24. it feels to be recognized hey kathy hey to feel like you belong what if your health insurance made you feel that way hi kathy how are you good thanks hi i'm kathy mahaffey ceo of common ground Healthcare cooperative with health insurance for individuals families and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves morning kathy morning maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette basketball from Wintrust. Marquette was down 10 with 140 left in the first half. They're now even. Marquette on a 15 to 5 run in three minutes, or I should say in about five minutes, after West Kentucky went on a 24 to 5 run in six minutes. Yeah, uh, but I'm just mad right now. Man, you shouldn't have been down. This, 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 that kind of run, that should put you up 15. That's, that's right. the kind of run that it should be. Now, you've expended a lot of energy in three minutes, three and a half minutes, trying to get yourself back to even right now. So, uh, they had a long, long way to go. Western Kentucky is not going to forget what they were able to do in the first half. Uh, again, we talked about uh, their leading scorer, McHenry, the Milwaukee kid. Uh, he is going to, at some point, come to life. And they got a long road. There's going to be a lot more ups and downs in this, this ball game. So, Marquette has to really use right now. So it's even right now on the scoreboard, but Marquette clearly has the momentum. I mean, and there's a lot of it. Now, what are you going to do with that momentum? How long are you going to make it last is, is the next question. Those are the questions I'm supposed to ask you. <laughs> right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm asking the team. I don't well, know how long they're going to be able to sustain this type of energy and then keep the momentum going into the rest. But you like coming back so quickly so you don't get to that point yes, later in the like, game. You where... do like erasing it immediately, but You've also done a lot in three and a half minutes, and you're just tied. Yep. 
Stevie Mitchell's doing it all. David Joplin, Cam Jones, Osue Godaro, and Tyler Kolick as McHenry has it in the backcourt. Their leading scorer, the Milwaukee Navy, just four points. He averages 15 plus. And we'll see if the timeout was able to do what timeouts do. They try to diffuse the energy and take the air out of the, the team that was. Howard right. hands back to Moore. Now Lander. Lander. Has Marquette gone into his zone a little bit? No, no, no. The man to man. Lander drives man, baseline. Step back 12 Way footer. Short. short. Rebound hits the ground and Lander knocked it around and they have it. McHenry. Nobody from Marquette went for the ball as quickly as Lander. And now Western Kentucky has it outside the arc. They got 12 to shoot. Yep. Marshall on a baseline drive to the basket. Kicks in the corner. Back outside McHenry off the Lander. They got five to shoot. Way off. Floater from eight. Way off. And Joplin says, I'm getting this rebound. He did. Cam Jones brings it up right side, 30 feet away. Cooking. He's already cooking. Yes, he is. Spins, turns to the basket, lays it up and in. Cooking. How do you know this? Well, you, How do you see well, this? Well, he was cooking, so you, he's a guy you want to get going offensively. Yeah. All right. Instead of Kolek handling, and he gave it to Jones and let him handle. Marquette up two from 10 down. Marquette leading 50 to 48, 15, 26 left into Howard. One dribble, shot blocked by Oso, easily out of bounds as Howard tried to go with the left hand. And we've got a timeout. 15-21 for the game. From down 10 late in the first half, Marquette is up to 50-48. to Western Kentucky will inbound when play resumes. 15-21 for the game. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Littlefield. Madness at Buffalo Wild Wings. Beer, wings, basketball everywhere. This really is my happy place. Are you kidding me? <clears throat> yeah, you just feel the good vibes. That's it. I'm done. I will never watch another game. I'm just going to find a patch of grass and lay there forever. Oh, it went in. That's what I'm talking about. Like I said, happy plays. Buffalo Wild Wings, the official sports bar of March Madness. Let's go, sports bar. Drink responsibly. NCAA March Madness are trademarks of the National Collegiate Athletic Association. Whether it's live or in podcast form, you've heard us on air with all of our shenanigans. Gabe, I'm throwing some... <laughs> Why are you throwing... I, I, I don't want... Now see your favorite 94.5 ESPN show streaming on video. Hey, by me, by the way. I hit that <laughs> microphone like four out of six times on that. Subscribe to ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube and get notified when we hit the air live. Plus, you can watch back any second that you miss and see original digital content, too. Watch, listen, interact. ESPN Milwaukee on YouTube. Every time you swipe your Golden Eagles debit card with Wintrust Wisconsin's bank, order online, pay at the register, or at self-checkout, pay with pride every time. Open a Marquette checking account and get a $50 bonus with qualifying activities at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's bank, the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Bank. Member FDIC. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin's bank. Marquette from down 10 after giving up a 24-5 run by Western Kentucky. Now on a 17-5 run of their own. Marquette up to 15-21 for the game. Color Inc., an experimental communications company that creates packaging, visual displays, and retail signage that inspires action. Visit colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Don't wreck a great time of the game. Marquette reminding you, drive sober or get pulled over. Visit ZeroInWisconsin.gov to learn more. Zero in Wisconsin. Together, we can save lives. Wisconsin DOT. I've always said it's about making shots, and then you explain why, because Marquette is 6 of 9 in the second half, and Western Kentucky is 2 of 9. Yeah, another thing, we talk about Marquette all the time. No turnover team. They had 8 turnovers. Yep. In the first half, they still have eight. Mm -hmm. uh, they also had eight assists in the first half, but now they have 13. So this is more like the Marquette uh, team that we're used to seeing offensively, especially. They don't turn it over, and they're a pretty high assist team, especially with Kolek and also uh, facilitating the offense. Well, when West Kentucky had troubles with the turnovers, they went to 5-10, 5-8. Jack Eadlin, uh, we haven't seen him yet. They're still with Lander and McHenry. McHenry, their leading scorer, the Milwaukee Natives, still just four points. Marshall, Tyrone Marshall, their only player in double figures with 17. Cam Jones, 15. Tyler Kolick, 13. Kolick, 14. 13 points, four rebounds, four assists, the kind of numbers we're used to. They got 13 to shoot. Western Kentucky will inbound along the baseline. 
Lander throws over the top to Howard at the free throw line, 15 feet away to McHenry. McHenry, he's got a two right on the line. Missed it, no good. Long rebound, drop one. To Kolick, already in the front court. Kolick faces a double team and then hands the ball to Cam Jones, 40 feet away. Marquette up two with a basketball. 15.06 for the game against Western Kentucky. Kolick on a drive against Lander. Kick to a flashing Oso. He had it knocked and stolen away. Western Kentucky comes the other way. McHenry lobs and missing the dunk is Marshall. Was the fact that, that Mitchell was near him to change it, or did he just miss it? Marquette yeah, has it. Just a little bit of traffic there. He probably felt some contact. We got lucky, though. Cam Jones lobs, and the ball's deflected. Comes back to Kolick. That's shaky. In the corner, Cam Jones out to Mitchell. He'll give to Kolick. He'll give him the corner. Joplin, he'll try a three. I'll let you, boy. Special hang time. Yeah. David Joplin and Marquette is up five. He went a little bit wow. high. He had a guy running at him. Yep. I call that a cold. Yeah, lucky with that missed dunk. If yes. Marshall gets that dunk, he's energized again. Maybe that changes the next couple. McHenry dribbling on Mitchell gives outside to Moore. Scored over three thousand points in high school. Moore wild shot and is able to draw a foul, and they got more than their money's yeah, worth there. Going anywhere with that? No, there was no need to foul him. It was a well, wild I shot. I don't even know if he fouled him. That was my point. Excellent point. <laughs> Moore will go to the know, line I don't and know shoot. Where he was going? Marquette. Leading 53 48 with 14 10 left, and there's no way anybody's going to be comfortable, regardless of the size of the lead, given what Western Kentucky did. As the free throw by Moore is good, he's an 80% free throw. He went right, Chase into, Ross he went in. right into his face. I don't know about that foul. Chase Ross comes in, Stevie Mitchell out. Just kind of want to watch him. It seems like his shoulder's okay. Yeah, Allen's back in. He, was, he sparked him too with a couple of threes. Only two shots he's taken, he made. You're right. He's got Marshall under control now. He's still at 17. He's off of his high that he was on. Marquette up four. Second free throw by Moore. Rims in. Marquette with a three-point lead. 53-50. 14.09 left. Cam Jones will walk it up to Kolick. They work the handoff weave. Moore on Kolick. Now in the corner, Cam Jones drives to the free throw line. Spins on Lander to the basket. Banked it up and in. He used the bank strong for that hoop. And he knew it was in before he yes. actually went in. He was already turning down court. 17 for oh, Cam Jones. They right. just threw it away. Yeah, Alan, right to head coach Steve Lutz. Yeah, Alan, Alan faked him out. Uh, Lunger thought he was popping out, but which, he, which I also thought he was about to, and he went back door. Guess who they just brought in with the turnover problem? Yeah. That little guy, Jack Edlin, 5'10 freshman, 5'8 at best. But well, I think hey, Edlin, like you're not going to get around him yeah. laterally, so you don't really try to challenge him. If I pick him off like Cole did here on the pick and roll, get a switch. Joplin, three in the corner, missed it. Rebound up high, Marquette fighting for it. Moore saves it, Western Kentucky has it. Marquette up five. 13-33 for the game. Edlin hands back to Moore. Moore on a drive in the lane. Another wild shot, and we get yeah. a travel. I was say, he's out of control there. Him uh, getting those free throws might be a good thing. <laughs> Marquette brings it up quickly. Cam Jones, Marquette up five. Good thing for West Kentucky. They needed it. 55-50, Cam Jones back to Kolick. Kolick spins 12 feet away. Then in the corner, Chase Ross faked the three. Back to Kolick outside the arc. He'll drive. He'll give to Oso. In the lane. Missed oh, the floater. Kind of measured it the, there. Yep, you're right. The push from eight. Yep. He missed it. And now Western Kentucky. Edlin dribbles the ball and then gives to... And they'll go to the basket. No good. Great defense by Oso. The shot was missed oh. by Colum Bay, And yeah. we're going to get a foul on, I believe, Howard. Yeah, he's yeah. pushing Oso on the rebound. Oso strong. Yeah, my pits, they, got, they need a bucket here. They got to they pull yeah. away a little bit. A little, they're still too close. Mm -hmm. I want double digits, Cushion. How about that? Uh, at least double digits. The other thing... When the little guy, Edlin's been in, Marquette has not really been able to take advantage of it in terms of scoring on it. Joplin, 20 feet away, Oso wide right. See, they're trying to post up Kolig with him. Instead, Oso back out Cam Jones. Cam Jones, still dribbling. Cam Jones gives to Oso at the foul line, then gives to Kolig in the corner. He'll try a three, no good. And again, he thought he could do it on Edlin. No, they come the other way. Edlin to the top of the circle. He gives the trailer, Colin Bay. He'll go to the basket, and his shot blocked twice. But inside to Howard, who laid it up and in, because everybody was in Colin Bay. Yeah, he was trying and to get Marquette it. just yeah. turned it trying, over trying on the inbound. 
I was I was looking down the court. Yeah, Only... He was trying to get it into Kolick, and all of a sudden uh, he was covered. I think Elin went and denied him, and then and Jones is already leaning over the line. So all right. So it comes to Western Kentucky. Marquette's lead is three. We have 12-20 left. Stevie Mitchell in. Cam Jones out. David Joplin out. And Ben Gold is in. 12-20 remaining. Marquette up three. 55-52. Yeah, that's why you need to get some separation when you have the momentum. Edlin inbounds to Allen. In the corner. Two dribbles. Now we're going to get a foul on Marquette on the drive by Allen. Now the momentum is gone, or, or it may have yep. even shifted. Maybe neutral, may, maybe shifted a little bit towards Western Kentucky. Everything right changes when Edlin comes in. No, no, let's not go that far. It did in the first half. It is again. Let's not go that far. All right, okay. Give Edlin will in now. Hands to Howard. Eight feet away, left of the way. Back to the basket. One, two, three dribbles. Back to Edlin. Beyond the three-point line, 30 feet away with it to Kendrick. McHenry against Mitchell, lost it on the dribble, now recovers, they get seven to shoot, he's 25 feet away, now drives, floats, hangs, banks it, no good, rebound, Edlin has it in the corner, and now back out to McHenry, he'll try a three, hit it, game's tied, five in a row by Western Kentucky, Kolick now directing traffic, uses the screen, Kolick still with it, now gives in the corner, Chase Ross fakes the three, now brings it back out to Kolick. Game tied, 11.36 left. Double team, gives it, then got it back. And Marquette lucky there. Mitchell gives back to Kolick. This is shaky. Kolick in the corner. Gold open three. Good! With two on the shot clock. Hope oh, yeah, Just uh, they're, they're working too hard to get a... But that's what happens when they hit a three on the other and they're energized. Now you got to work. Colin Bay, top of the circle, further out to McHenry. Marquette up three. McHenry just hit a three. Floater from eight. No good. Rebound Marquette and Chase Ross. He'll bring it up himself. He's in the front court. Hands to Mitchell. Still outside the arc right side. Trailer Oso 25 feet away. Oso against Howard. Oso double team. Back to Mitchell. Now up top. Kolick. Nobody on him. He'll drive. He's six feet away. Kicks in the corner to Gold. Gold will penetrate. He's in the lane. Fakes. Back out to Kolick. Kolick with seven to shoot. Kolick. Inside the goal, they throw it away. Edlin has it for Western Kentucky. That was kind of a weird. That was a, that was a greedy pass. Allen, wide open three, around, around, and out. Oh, what a huge break. Missed it, then off the top of the backboard, rebound to Marquette. Marquette up three with the ball, 10-28 for the game. Kolick against Edlin. Kolick inside, back out. Gold, open three. Oh, Missed oh. it. Long rebound in the corner, Western Kentucky and Allen. Again, they're back to shoot a lot of threes. Yep. They got to get it inside again. McHenry pull up three. No good. That was nice of him. Yeah, well, you know, he's going to try to get it going. You called just, that just first one, down. He's going to try to get it going. Cleared by Marquette. I know you don't want me to say it. The Marquette defense is di offense is different when Eaglin is in the game. I know, but it's not. All right. Kolick goes by Eaglin to the him. basket. Oh, lays it up and in. Counted in a foul. It's not really a factor. That's just your mind playing tricks on you. All right, fine. Well, they cleared everything out that time. No one was there. I'm playing tricks on you. All right, with gold in there, the big guy has to come out on him, so that frees it up for the easy layup, right? Yeah, he certainly has to come out on gold. Even though gold missed his last shot, he's, he's capable of hitting threes. All right, Marquette led five, then five by Western Kentucky. Marquette has put up five in a row again. Marquette up 60-55, to 55, up five, 9.57 for the game. Tyler Kolick with a free throw when play resumes. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Experience stands out at Color, Inc. That's true for the experiences we create for your customers and the ones we create for you. Our entire crew is unlocking creativity to help you accomplish your goals. Color, Inc. is an experiential communications company. We help you capture attention and inspire action with packaging, visual displays, retail signage, influencer kits, and pretty much anything else you can dream up. Visit www.colorinc.com to book a conversation today. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Pottawatomie. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Pottawatomie, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Every Qdoba catering order is a fresh-made Mexican feast of hand-smashed, flame-grilled, sliced, diced, and sautéed flavors perfect for any occasion. 
Whether you're planning your office's tortilla Tuesday, hosting a post-game party for your intramural dodgeball team, or trying to bring in a dinner for your PTA meeting that's so good, it'll bump your kid up to an A- in Spanish class. Qdoba Catering. Fresh, hot, easy, delicious. Order today. Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette trailed by 10 late in the first half to Western Kentucky as the result of a 24-5 run. Since then, Marquette has rebounded, now up five, and in the second half, outscoring Western Kentucky 24-12. 43 for Western Kentucky in the first half, in the first 10 minutes of the second half, 12. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what you really want to see if you're Marquette. You want to get back to some semblance of the defense that you're typically used to playing. They're a very good defensive team, and giving up 43 in the first half certainly uh, did not show that, so I'm sure that that was a, a main talk in the locker room. Like, we got to D it up a little bit better than 43 points to Western Kentucky. That's not going to get her done. Uh, and the same thing on the offensive end. We got to be better. The execution, it's not about a matter of uh, we got to make more shots. We just can't simply say that. It's execution on offense. Uh, it's the quality of shot that we're getting, quality of shot that we're settling for, we're taking. By the way, they listen to you. Stop Tyrone Marshall. 17 in the first half, zip in the right. second half. Yeah, and I, again, he, he, he probably, uh, you know, I don't want to say it, you know, he probably used up all his bullets there in the first half. <laughs> he averages half that so eight and a half. Out now, but all right. again, he, he missed a dunk for you. But you just don't want to get him going. That was kind of, huge. Because it really will energize the team. Five yeah. comes back into the ball game. Same thing with the little guy. If you give him anything, it's going to energize the team. Yep. And it, you just don't need it. Tyler Kolick will go to the line and try the three-point play. He's got 15 points, five rebounds, six assists. He is back, and he has played like he's 100%. I'm no doctor. The basketball doctor is uh, Hall of Famer Tony Smith. Kolick, free throw, perfect. Marquette now 7 of 14 free throw. Yeah, what a struggle, struggle from the line. And, yep. I mean, and this is a, a close ball game. Those four or five extra points could really help. Stevie Mitchell just stole a pass. Edlin had it stolen, and Edlin just stole it back, and then a foul on Edlin. And the Western Kentucky fans love it. You can hear it behind me. Uh, Stevie Mitchell. Nothing he does can surprise you. He will knock the ball away at any point, and they nope, showed it that again. Probably not that a was a nice whistle. Very nice whistle. Edlin comes out of the ball game, and Lander in. Yeah, but he's got he's to anticipate. The little guy has no defense except that one right there. Go low. He's got to take it up high. Edlin also has three fouls. Marquette inbounding. Cam Jones has it in the corner. Marquette up six with the basketball. 9.44 for the game. Cam Jones dribbling. Cam Jones still outside the arc on a switch. It's against Font. Now Joplin. Joplin guarded by Marshall. Joplin likes the matchup. Goes to the basket. Then throws back out to Cam Jones. Yeah, they got time. 10 to shoot. Cam Jones step back three. Oh, missed it that. short. Rebound knocked around. Marquette has it in. Kolick outside the arc. Lobs across. Now in the corner. Ben Gold open three. Gotta have no. Oh. Not even close. Hit the no, bracket. Yeah, and close. in comes the other way. Western Kentucky McKendry. Off to Allen. Now in the corner. Marshall. Marshall penetrates against Joplin. Hank shoots. Lays it up and in. Go. That's all he needed. Yep. But you made him work. That's all he needed, yeah, but that's even worse. All right, Marquette up four. Almost better if he gets an easy one. All right, Cam Jones under the basket. Spins, lays it up and in. They'll play that again. The 360 spin and then the layup. Well, I knew where he was. All right. <laughs> With that spin. Marquette up six. 63-57, 8.48 for the game. Allen against Kolick further out the land. Well, 25 feet away. Early. McHenry in the lane. Floats and scores over Mitchell. And Marquette's lead is four. McHenry, three of 12. Cam Jones, quick three at the other end. Good! Cam Jones is feeling it now. Good! Marquette up seven. Good! You got to start looking for him. <laughs> yes, you. 22 for Cam Jones. Marquette up seven, 66-59. The handoff weave by West Kentucky outside the arc. Lander on a drive. And he, there's going to be a foul on Cam Jones as Lander kind of went by him and then fell down. Foul on Cam Jones. And lost his balance, I believe, trying to create some contact there. Not sure if that was. Not sure if that was a foul on Cam. Eight fifteen remaining. Marquette up sixty six 
to 59. Remember all the from up nine to down 10? Marquette back up seven near their largest lead. That's team foul number three in the second half. Nobody with a foul situation for Marquette. For West Kentucky, Edlin, the very little guy with three. Inbounding, Newman gives the foul baseline 12 feet away. He won't shoot. Back outside the three-point line to Lander. Lander drives baseline, still with the right corner. Back out to Newman, up top to Marshall. Marshall against Joplin, dribbled the ball off his foot. And, or was it off Marquette's foot, I guess, because it'll be Western Kentucky ball inbound along the baseline. You're right, though. You can see Marshall's got a pass. Yeah, he's got I don't mean he's back to score, but he's up to 19 points. Cam Jones, 22 for Marquette. Marquette up 7, 8.03 left in the corner. Marshall. Marshall now on a drive. Marshall to the basket, floats. Wild shot, scores. He floated it in, and that was a very tough shot, right? A very tough shot. Yeah. Kolick, free throw line on the dribble. Back outside. Cam Jones, a three. In and out. Oh, Back it. it again. Back it again. What'd you call him? He's on a heater. Yeah, the West Kentucky has the same issue that Marquette has with uh, Marshall. Uh, Marshall, yeah. Marquette's up eight. They got to they gotta get a hold of Cam Jones. Marquette up eight. Column Bay struggles with the dribble. Now in the lane against Woj against Oso. Back outside to Newman. Further out, Lander. They got 10 to shoot. Lander to the free throw line. Off to Newman. Tough three. Line Not drive. Good no good. All. Rebound knocked on. Joplin with a great rebound. Took it away from Bob Marquette. Has a chance to create their biggest lead. You can explain how this happened. 7-0-8 left. Marquette up eight with the ball. Kolick. 40 feet away. They work the handoff. We yep, get it to Jones. Back to Kolick. Spinning on Lander. Kolick to the basket to a flashing Oso. Back to Joplin. Open three. Missed it. Rebound pulled down by Lander. Can't get a better look than that. Nope. But again, that's, that's, that's the key. Lander on a drive all the way to the basket. Leans in, banks it up in. He created some nice space with that right hand. The right arm before he laid it up and in, but I don't have a whistle. Marquette up second six. time. He may have pushed off a little bit. Yeah. Kolick back outside to Cam Jones. Cam Jones dribbling outside the arc. Oso right of the lane. Oso against Fa. Oso to the basket. Floater with a left hand. Oh, heartbreak. In and out. And it comes down to West Kentucky and Fa. He just hasn't not been a, able to. Not bad up there. Yeah. Column Bay to a lander. That's open three. Missed it. You knew it was wrong. Law was off when he took it. Yeah, Rebound not, to Mark Dad. Just not a good shot. Yep. Not at this point. This is six minutes. This is uh, this is it right here. Marquette up six with the ball. Deep three. Cam Jones around and out. Mitchell the rebound. Wow. Counted in a foul. The only one like him. Stevie Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Follow. Counted in a foul. He will try the three-point play. How does he get that open under the basket for an offensive rebound? Yeah, because guys are staring at the ball. And when the shot goes up, that's not your first move. Your first look is to find the body, the box out, not to look at the rim. Unbelievable. But you can't say it was Stevie Mitchell because he does it so often. It's not unbelievable. Marquette could match their game's biggest lead at nine. Up eight. Mitchell to get a free throw when play resumes. Six minutes for the game. Timeout Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey, Marquette fans. We know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it, too, here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with TechSpend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Buffalo Wild Wings has honey sriracha and honey garlic? This calls for a thank you to the bees. <clears throat> bees, thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have delicious honey sriracha or honey garlic. Uh, who let the bees in here? Uh, bees, thank you for never... Hey, ow, ow, stop the... Ow, ow, ah, I'm just trying to thank you. Why? Get honey garlic and honey sriracha for dine-in, takeout, or delivery at Buffalo Wild Wings. Let's go sports bar. For a limited time only. In sports, you're always thinking of that next play. It's the same with business. Cintas has the products, people, and solutions that help keep you a step ahead. They'll make sure you have the right work apparel for almost any job imaginable. Provide first aid and safety supplies. Install and service your AEDs. Test and inspect your fire protection systems and regularly stock your cleaning products. So visit Cintas.com. 
and get ready for the workday. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette, with a free throw, could match the biggest lead they had, which before was at 28-19, and then it got so bad, Marquette down 10. Right now, Marquette up 71-63, up eight, six minutes to go. Meet the all-new Potawatomi Casino Hotel, Milwaukee, 12 bars and restaurants, 3,000 slot machines, table games, and more. Lighten up your senses at Potawatomi. Explore more at PaysBig.com. We want to say hello to Marquette fans tuning into the game on the Marquette Radio Network and Marshfield 94.5 WKTI. We are Marquette. We'll have the Cintas MVP. Cam Jones with 25 points on 9 of 5 shooting. Stevie Mitchell, again, the new Stevie Mitchell, the double-figure Stevie Mitchell with 10. Tyler Kolick with 16 and 6 rebounds and 8 assists. It would be a stretch, but he's got a shot at a triple-double. David Joplin, 8 points, 9 rebounds. Oso, just 4 points on 2 of 7 shooting, but 8 rebounds. Marquette outscoring Western Kentucky 35-20 in the second half after Western Kentucky put up 43 in the first half. Oso, Cam Jones, Stevie Mitchell, Tyler Kohler, and David Joplin, the five in, the starting five, as Mitchell taking his time. Free throw is around and in. They weren't going in before. Marquette just 8 of 15 free throwing. That one good. Marquette has matched their biggest lead at 9. 5.54 5.54 for the game. McHenry and Howard. Now Marshall. Marshall against Joplin. Top of the circle. To McHenry. Still beyond the three-point line. Column Bay. Baseline. Now working on Mitchell. To the basket. Lays it up and in. Like the matchup and scored. Enoch Column Bay at 6-6. And Marquette's lead is 7. 72-65. 5.33 left. Marquette with the ball. Cam Jones gives to Oso. 15 feet away. He wants to pass the ball to someone. Back to Cam Jones. Fake the three. Cam Jones spinning in the lane. Now 10 feet away in the corner. Joplin fake the three. Joplin two dribbles. He's under the basket. Needs help. Back to Kolick. Now Oso. They got eight to shoot. Hands back to Joplin. Open three is. I can't say it. Holla at your boy. Say it again. Holla at your boy. Because that gives Marquette their biggest lead at 10. 75-65. We got five minutes left. And yeah, answer the bucket there by the Western Kentucky. More importantly. Howard. Free throw line. Back to Lander. Lander. Step back. Now still on the perimeter. Colin Bay against Kolick. Now he gives off to Marshall. Now Lander. He'll try a quick three around. And out. Oh, all Marquette on the rebound. Yeah, they take their time right now. Clock is against yes. Western Kentucky. Marquette by 10. 434 left. Solid set here. Kolick to the basket. Layup is around and out. Heartbreak. And Kolick steals it from Howard. So Marquette keeps it. Kolick gives out to Cam Jones. Who's He'll hot. try a three. He's still hot. He's smoking hot. Blue flame smoking hot. Three is good by Cam Jones. And the lead is even what bigger. Great, great play and steal by Kolick. Kolick, there. yep. Marquette up 13 with 4.20 remaining, and we get a timeout, Western Kentucky. 78-65 Marquette, 4.20 left, we'll take a break. break. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Golden Eagles fans, open a Marquette checking account with Wintrust Wisconsin's bank and score perks like a $50 opening bonus with qualifying activities, no monthly fees, free ATMs nationwide, and your very own MU Golden Eagles debit card. Rep the blue and gold wherever you go. Get yours at Wintrust.com slash Marquette. Wintrust Wisconsin's Bank. Proud to be the official bank of Marquette University. No minimum required to open. No minimum monthly balance or monthly maintenance fees. Banking products provided by Wintrust Financial Board Banks. Member FDIC. You know how it feels to be recognized? Hey, Kathy. Hey. To feel like you belong? What if your health insurance made you feel that way? Hi, Kathy. How are you? Good, thanks. Hi, I'm Kathy Mahaffey. CEO of Common Ground Healthcare Cooperative. With health insurance for individuals, families, and small businesses that truly cares about the members it serves. Morning, Kathy. Morning. Maybe it's time to wake up to better health insurance. I'm Sawyer. And I'm Shannon. Together, we're Twin Stunts, the only twin motorcycle freestyle show in the world. We were born and raised in Wisconsin, so we want all our fellow cheeseheads to know that even though we clutch it up, hit 12, and drift in our show, 
We would never do it on the open road. And there's another thing we would never do on the road. Drive, drive drunk. drunk. Drive sober. Or get pulled over. Together, we can save lives. Learn more at zeroinwisconsin.gov. Wisconsin DOT. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith. NCAA tournament in Indianapolis. Marquette leading by 13 over Western Kentucky. 4.20 left for the game. Marquette led 28-19. Western Kentucky went on a 24-5 run, so Marquette down 10 late in the first half. Since then, Marquette on a 45-22 run. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what you needed. Uh, I talked about at halftime, the, the situation that Marquette put themselves in, not defending well, and giving up a ton of points, giving up 43. They've only given up 22 this half. And on the opposite end, they were in the, in the same boat. They, they only scored 36. It was not horrible, not great, kind of just like blah, right? So they, uh, they were going to have to, you know, put up some points this half. And they've put up 42 already. So four, Remember four when you mentioned go. turnovers? Yep. Eight by Marquette in the first half, two in the second half. Yeah, again, that's more like the team. Now they're up to 20. So they were pretty much even assist to turnovers, eight to eight. Now it's 20 to 10 assist to turnovers more like it exactly what they needed though uh, to get this game back under control and then we also see the second half field goal percentages for uh, Western Kentucky is not nearly what they were in the first half they're down to 33 percent in the second half from the field goal shooting 22 uh, from three-point land 420 remaining Marquette up 78 65 Marquette the two seed West Kentucky the 15th seed the winner will play the winner of the next game, which is Colorado against Florida. Marquette keeps their starting five in the game. Not much uh, sub play, a little bit of Ben Gold, but it's been the starting five. Moore brings it up for West Kentucky. First time he's done that. Howard, big guy, top of the circle. Further out to McHenry. McHenry on a switch against Oso. McHenry to the basket. Floater from six around and in. The lefty. Yeah, they're going to run some for their best player at yep. this point of the game. They're down. He's up to 11 points, but 5 of 14 shooting. Kohler picks it up in the backcourt. Marquette up by 11. Content to let the clock run. Yes. <laughs> We're down to 346. Kolick has it outside the arc. Cam Jones is open. He'll give inside to Oso, but the pass is deflected at the last minute. Now, that one was a bounce pass. Should he have... That's not the bounce pass you want, no. Oh. How about the lob alley-oop? <laughs> yes, that would have been a better option. There. All right. Marquette inbounds along the baseline. Fortunate. I mean, that was West... from the logo to the... Trying yes. To, trying to yeah. bounce pass it to, you the, needed a, to the rim. You needed a power bounce pass. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. All right. Marquette will inbound. Caught a break as he was last touched by West Kentucky. Oso and Howard talking about positioning. 3.39 left. Oh, Marquette. Ref. Oh. They get it to Oso. Back 30 feet away. 15 to shoot. Oso dribbling right of the lane. Back out. Kolek 40 feet away. Marquette's got 10 to shoot. Up by 11. Kolek now attacking to the basket. He's got the layup over Howard. Easy. A pregame layup for Tyler Kolek. Yeah, Marquette he, up 30. He had Howard in trouble. Howard had to either guard him or guard Oso. McHenry gives back to Colin Bay. He'll go Mitchell. to the basket. And just the slipped. foul was on Mitchell. He slipped down. Yeah, Not even close down. to the bonus. Just foul number four on Marquette. Three, just 317 left, and Marquette's up 13. That's yeah. a pretty good and cushion. And they're up to 80, where we talked about, you know, they're going to yeah. at least have to get to 80. It was going to be tough sledding. They had 36 points. Now they got 44 already here. Yeah. The, the key is the defense, though. They've only allowed 24 points so far. McHenry inbounding along the baseline. He just threw a drop. Throws to Allen. <laughs> McHenry struggles with the dribble. Now has it outside the arc left side. Gives baseline to Howard against Oso. Kicks across to Moore. Back outside Allen. He's got an open three. Missed it. Rebound knocked around. And who's got it? McHenry has it. His quick three follow. That one misses. Off the top of the backboard. It goes out of bounds to Marquette. And a little shaky on the defensive glass. But who cares? 2.58 left. Marquette will inbound up 13 as Marshall in and Allen out. Yeah. Remember when Allen was two for two? He's Steve missed. Mitchell getting banged up again. What? Stevie Mitchell's in there. He's, yeah. he's always he's always giving up his body. Yep. He looks cool like court, he's a little hurt. Cool pressure by Western Kentucky. And they get it into Oso, who helps out. Back to Kolek. Now ahead to Mitchell. Mitchell in from the left. He's just going to use the clock. He dribbles out of way. It was a 2-1-2. Yeah, on two. force anything. Nope. We're down to 2.48 left. Marquette up 13 with the ball. Kolek 40 feet away. 
McHenry there defensively. Kolick backing in. Kolick still with it. Double team to Cam Jones. Cam Jones off to Kolick. He'll try a three. Short. Short. Comes long. Marquette has it in Joplin. To Kolick in the corner. Got a new clock. It's Inside relaxed. to Mitchell. He will put it oh. up and score. Nobody <laughs> guarded him. And so he shot. He's looking around like, He's like what? Okay. Yeah, that was a, a surprise to even him. Marquette up 15 with 219 left. Here's a steal on a pass. Cam Jones. He'll give to Joplin. He'll go to the basket. Lays it up and in. Marquette by 17 with 209 left. Yep, it's either Colorado or Florida. And we get another timeout by Western Kentucky. And what's he going to do? Too many turnovers. Steve Lutz says, let's bring in the little guy, Jack Eaton. You know what? It's too <laughs> late. I think we're going to keep it wasn't doing here. anything anyway, Homer. That was all in your mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's fine. That's why you're here as an analyst. I can't get away with stuff. They're right. going to extend it to a full. We'll take a break. 2.04 for the game. Marquette up 17. Yes. And they trailed by 10 late in the first half. Timeout, Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey, Marquette fans. We know your love for Marquette basketball runs deep. We feel it, too, here at Software One. And just like Marquette, Software One plays to win. Ready to scale your cloud environment? Need help with TechSpend? As the official software and cloud services partner for Marquette Athletics, Software One is a one-stop shop for all your software and cloud needs. Plus, we've got the home court advantage, headquartered right here in downtown Milwaukee. Call us at 1-800-444-9890 or visit us at softwareone.com. Make it a real Mad March with a playoff payout at Potawatomi. Every week, you could score your share of 100 grand in cash and free play. Play this March for drawing entries. Win each Thursday. Plus, the prizes refresh every week for even more winners. The playoff payout at Potawatomi, Milwaukee. It's anyone's game. For more details, visit paysbig.com slash payout. Must be 21 and a club member to play. Homer and Hall of Famer Tony Smith, Marquette basketball from Wintrust, Wisconsin's Bank. The NCAA tournament from Indianapolis. First game for Marquette. Leading by 17 with 2.04 left. Have no idea when the next game would be as far as what time Sunday. Marquette would play the winner of Florida and Colorado, which is next. And yes, Edlin is back in the ball game, 40 feet away. Homer's guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> ba has Homer's game the changer. Circle. Back to Moore. Moore to the basket. Again, another wild shot. Missed it. Rebound knocked around. Marquette has it in Mitchell and the backcourt. And now Kolick will walk it up. 144 left. 84-67 Marquette. Cam Jones with 28 points on 10 of 16 shooting. Tyler Kolick, 18 points, 10 assists. He needs four rebounds in the last 133 for a triple. We'll not get that. All right. There won't be that many rebounds available. Cam Jones just dribbling 40 feet away. Cam Jones across to Kolick. He'll penetrate in the corner to Mitchell. Look, you gotta shoot it. No, they don't care. Mitchell, wild shot. Banked it. it in! Banked it in! And he was trying to bank it, but uh, I think we have a timeout and, uh, because Steve Lutz of uh, West Kentucky wants to get in a number of uh, reserve players. Stevie Mitchell, line drive, banked it in because we you know why? The easiest why? shot was when there's no time on the shot clock. You just have to put it up. The walk-ons are coming on for both teams for the final 114. Marquette up 87-67. Kishaka said, well, if you're going to bring the walk-ons, then uh, I might as well bring our walk-ons on. So, walk-ons. Oh, and Zabe. Well, you know what we want to see? What do we want to see? see a Jonah Lucas oh. deep three. We want a logo three. Well, there's not as many logos here, just the uh, NCAA. You can get a straight on logo three. We'll keep it here. 114 remaining. Marquette, 87, 20-point lead. Are they lead. checking the Stevie Mitchell three? See if what? it was a three? Are they checking oh, that? Gosh. Yes, they probably are. He was right at it, but he was up in the air and had his foot touch the line before he went up. I think it's a two, but we'll see. Okay. I have no idea. But I pride myself on a betting. I have no idea. 87-67. Mitchell is up to 15. By the way, David Joplin, he's got a double-double. 13 points, 11 rebounds. A few guys doing all the rebounding for Marquette. They keep it at a three. Jack Riley in. Jonah Lucas in. Cam Brown is in. 
Zay Lowry is in, and Al Amadou is in. So those are the five as um, Tyler Olden with a nice headband for Western Kentucky. What do you think in the corner there? Oh, very nice. Yeah. Moore has very it. old school. Moore outside the arc. They stay on the perimeter. And then throw it across. There's your guy. There's my headband guy. Edelin, they're down to 12 to shoot. Oh, Jalen Dorsey. He's going to the basket. He lays it up and in. It's the most he's scored since the third game of the season. Jack Edelin now with four. He no longer makes a difference. Marquette up 18. Down to uh, 44 seconds left. Cam Brown. For the lob. He's going to put it up. Yes, sir. And he got it. Scoop oh. in and out. Heartbreak. Edlin brings it up for Western Kentucky. Just playing it out. Marquette up 18. Down to the final half minute. And Marquette again trailed by 10. Late in the first half. Jalen Dorsey. A couple of dribbles. In the corner, my guy. Open three. <laughs> Off the top of the backboard. Do I want to mention his name? Do you think so? Tyler uh, Old? Yeah, yeah. Give Marquette's going to dribble shout out. it out. Yes. Nine seconds left. The Marquette fans are standing and appreciative of. It wasn't even close, even though Marquette trailed by 10 late in the first half. It's over. Marquette 87, Western Kentucky 69. Marquette wins by 18. The record 26 and 9. Next is the winner of Colorado, Florida on Sunday. We will keep it here. Uh, we hope to have a player momentarily. And I'm asking a first question, by the way. Fine, you can, you. you can ask all the questions. I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm just going to ask one. I all got right. the first one. That's it. Then you can we, take have, over. we have the Cintas MVP of the game. Get the products you need from a partner you trust. Visit Cintas.com. I'm curious who you're thinking about. We got Cam Jones, 28 points on 10 of 16 shooting. Tyler Kolick, 18 points, 16, excuse me, 6 rebounds, 11 assists. David Joplin, double-double, 13 points. 11 rebounds. I got to put in Stevie Mitchell. There's some stat they don't give him credit for. Deflections. Incredible play. 16 points. 6 of 9 shooting. Over. 4 rebounds and 3 assists. Tyler Kolick's going to join us. There he's right over here. Alright. That would be nice. I believe. Unless oh, he'll no. be going. He might be going to TV. Yeah. Oh, he is going to TV. I think we got Stevie oh, okay. Mitchell or Cam Jones. Yeah, one of I don't know. Stevie Mitchell. Stevie Mitchell is here. I think Cam Jones is going to go. Hey, Joining we, us now is Stevie Mitchell. Uh, Stevie Mitchell the Hall of Famer Tony man. Smith wants the first question. Go I ahead. First, he, will, he will mess it up, Stevie, so I can't let him mess it up. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations on the win. Thank Good you. job out there. Uh, you're always giving up your body all over the floor. Uh, but first half had to be a disappointment obviously you guys go in and what was the talk about what was the focus uh, coming out in the second half uh the focus was you know just to be us uh, i thought we were being uh, a little bit of front runners in the beginning uh, we were doing good we had energy then they i mean they're a good team they got good players they went on a run we lost our energy so we came out of halftime just have just having the mindset of having energy regardless uh, regardless of what they do uh, regardless of what we do just you know being us and having energy and pouring into each other and that was the mindset all right, Homer, you're up. Of all that you do in this game, what's the one play that you're going to run? What's at the top of your list? Uh, I got an exact play of mine. Uh, it was when I think <laughs> TK drove, and he we thought he got fouled, but uh, they didn't call it. He missed the layup, and then they were pushing, and I I ran back, got a deflection. Like they yeah. got your own deflection. Chase, yeah. chase down, chase down. That's a good one. And then, and the, yeah, that was my favorite play. Not, not the uh, double pump under the bank, bank three? Not that one? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, although it was intentional, I did try to bank you. All right. So, of the team, what impressed you the most about the second half? Uh, just our ability to respond, and we've been doing it all year, and just, you know, focusing on each other and not letting the score dictate, you know, how we come out of halftime, how, we, how our energy is, just knowing that if we follow our process and play our way, then the score will take care of itself. So I'm proud of my guys for that. Yeah. And I'm proud of the, you know, the bench. Uh, everybody was engaged the whole time. Yeah, and I just wanted you to talk about how, how tough that is. People don't understand, like, when you're doing some things and teams are making shots, mm -hmm. regardless of your defense, it really is it's tough to keep your energy up. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but, I mean, they're good players, and I think one, one part of that is just understanding that 
in the NCAA tournament, we're going to play against good teams with good players who can make good shots, hard shots. So just not letting that drop our, our us drop our head and just trying to make every shot for them as hard as possible. Yeah. Uh, the local guy, McHenry, their leading scorer, he did get 11. You guarded him 5 of 15 shooting, 1 of 6 three-point shoot. That's, I mean, he's a good player. Uh, I watched a lot of film, you know, coming in, just learning, and he still had some good moves on me. Uh, Tip my captain. You'll take five of fifteen. Anytime. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, you know, my guys being in my loads and my help, uh, talking to me on the screens. So yeah, yeah. And I was going to ask you about uh, uh, Tyler Kohler, how he spurred you guys coming out like he did. I mean, uh -huh. that had to give you guys a lift because I know on the other end, Marshall gave them a huge lift by doing what he did. Yeah, I mean. TK, anytime, you know, you get the best player, the best point guard in the country back, it's going to, you know, help us a lot. And I thought he he stepped up uh, when we needed him most, and he's going to continue to do that moving forward. Thank you. Congratulations. Right, Thank you. Stevie Mitchell, the Cintas MVP of the game. Get the products you need from a partner you trust. Visit Cintas.com. I didn't say he's won the Cintas MVP yet. That's up to Tony. Post game coming up, Marquette wins by 18, 87 69 over Western Kentucky. Marquette basketball from Learfield. Hey, Marquette fans, we know you love for Marquette basketball runs.